Welcome to We Need to Talk, a series designed to help you handle real-life employee relations situations. Today we meet insubordinate Irene, an employee who acts in contrary to the direction of her supervisor. Insubordination is when an employee refuses to follow a direct order or workplace rule. Handling these situations as a supervisor can be difficult and oftentimes frustrating. Irene's manager told her on two separate occasions to do something and she refused. The supervisor is not asking Irene to do anything illegal or unsafe. Therefore, it was a legitimate insubordination by the employee. It's important to remember that just because an employee refuses to follow a direct order doesn't necessarily mean it's insubordination. If an employee refuses to follow a rule or order because they believe it's unsafe or illegal, the employer must investigate those concerns. It's not insubordination if it's deemed dangerous or unhealthy for the employee or determined to be illegal. Insubordination should be dealt with as an issue of employee conduct, a performance issue. Setting clear expectations, ensuring frequent communication, and that documentation is well maintained is essential. It is important to try to discover the root of the problem. Give the employee the chance to present their side of the story. It might just surprise you. There's also one important question you should ask yourself during this conversation. Is the problem rooted in knowledge or attitude? Oftentimes, an issue that you thought was caused by a negative attitude could actually be the product of poor or inadequate training, something that may not be the fault of the employee. Perhaps they were ill-informed or poorly trained, and as a result, the employee genuinely did not understand what they were doing was wrong. And remember, as a private employer in the United States, you have the law on your side when dealing with employee conduct issues. Although workers have specified rights in some situations, employers genuinely have plenty of latitude to make the employment decisions they feel are right for their business. This latitude is protected by an age-old legal doctrine called employment at will.